so this is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so we will have i equals to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this is sine square x cos square x sine x plus minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sine square x cos cube x dx so if we have one formula a to b fx dx is equals to a to b f a plus b minus x dx so this is a plus b is pi pi by 2 minus pi by 2 which is 0 0 minus x so which is equals to a to b f minus x dx so we will have same i okay so it will be sine minus x whole square will be sine square x so this will come out to be minus sine x so when we add 2i this minus pi by 2 pi by 2 this will come out to be minus sine cube x cos square x dx so we have added this and this so this will get cancelled this will get cancelled we will be get this is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 we will get something like 2 sin square x cos square x dx which is i is equals to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin square x cos square x dx so we know that this is even function so this will become 2 0 to pi by 2 sin square x cos square x dx so using Wallis theorem it is m and this is n so we have m plus n we have here n minus 1 m minus 1 this is m plus n minus 2 we should note that m plus n minus 2 should not be 0 so m plus n is 4 4 minus 2 then 4 minus 4 will be 0. So we won't go up to that much. And this is 2 minus 1 dot pi by 2. So this is 2. n is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. m plus n is 4. m minus 1 is 1. m plus n is 4 minus 2 is this 2. This is pi by 2. So this is pi by 8 is the answer. We use the Wallis theorem.